Welcome to Wisconsin Women. Thanks for joining us. We are in Monroe, Wisconsin today mm -hmm. at the Monroe Furniture Center. Later on, we'll talk with Jerry Beckman, he's the owner there, and how he's got just about anything and everything here for whatever you need in your home, from kiddos to those massage lounge yes. chairs. Oh, I His love. wellness center. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're going to call it wellness center. My, Janet's center, I think. Yes. Is the, we are talking about so many other things, too, and I love this next topic. When it comes to Monroe, do you think about diesel and chrome? Or do you think Maybe about not. beer and cheese? Maybe not. Well, we're talking diesel and chrome next with two fantastic Wisconsin women. Joining us, we have Liz and Sarah Motsky, and they are with Motsky Diesel and Chrome 69. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having Thanks. us. Welcome yes. to the show. Okay, this is definitely a male dominated field and yet you are part of a business, a family run business as well. Tell us about Motsky. Uh, Motsky Diesel was started in 2010 um, by Caleb Motsky. It services medium and heavy duty trucks, class six through eight um, pickups. And we started just last year, Chrome 69. What is Chrome 69? Yeah, so Chrome is actually, I call it the fun part of our <laughs> business. Um, basically, we get to accessorize. The bling. Yeah, yeah. the bling to the semis, um, pickups, trailers, the lights. So all the sparkly, shiny parts of the business. So this is for not just the big rigs, but folks that have pickup trucks too, just the regular Joe that's got to, wants to yeah. do something. Anything that's mm -hmm. diesel. Anything that's diesel. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Exactly. If it's diesel, we're in the business. So obviously you gals are running the show. So <laughs> That's a how, thing. How, how has your influence in the business led to the success of the two divisions of the family business? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so uh, like Sarah mentioned, the business was started by Caleb. Mm -hmm. um, Caleb would be my younger brother actually, and I just came on about a year ago. Um, we all bring different talents and different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. I come from event management and marketing background, so I'm able to bring that in and really amp up our social media, mm -hmm. um, our design work. Uh, you know, Sarah um, has come from, um, has a variety of experience as well, so really kind of keeping organized and, and our accounting and stuff is, is her niche. So really, it's, it's great that we can use our strengths mm -hmm. as a family, um, focused business, uh, we do have two additional employees uh, who are not blood relatives, but we very much so consider them family. That's awesome. And what would you yeah. say are the benefits? Obviously, you're drawing from your different experiences, but working with family, do you, are there some benefits <laughs> uh, there? There is. There's more flexibility, um, but ah, like any yeah. family, you know, you get under each other every once in a while. Yeah, ninety percent of the time it's fantastic. Ten percent mm -hmm. of the time you're you're related. <laughs> right. But I mean, there's got to be a certain pride involved when it's a family-run business, though, too. I would think your name is right on there. Yeah, yeah uh, very much so. So the business is actually located on the family farm where my brother and I would represent Generation mm -hmm. Five. Um, so yeah, a lot of pride, a lot of care, a lot of deep roots in this area, um, and so it just is a natural fit for our family to kind of come together and then. Not only do my parents still farm, um, but then to have the uh, entities as well and involve Sarah and myself. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I mean, it's it's good and, and we all still get along at holidays and stuff. <laughs> so uh, a year later, we're still happy and excited to be moving together, as moving forward together yes. as, as one unit. That's great. Um, so with it being so male dominated, and I'm sure there's, I mean, there's a lot of influence from um, other people, but what would you say would be some things you could recommend to other women who are interested in pursuing a career in this or want to learn more about what you guys do? My biggest piece of advice would be to stay strong and stay yeah. true. Um, just keep to it. You're going to dominate one way or another. You just got to find your niche and go with it. Uh, yeah, Good advice in any yeah, field, really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't be afraid. You're going to make mistakes. Um, you're going to not know as much as people who've been around uh, this stuff for 20 or 30 mm -hmm. years. But we're fortunate enough that the guys um, in our business um, have been really good about teaching us stuff or um, helping us when we, we get caught up um, in different problems or tasks. But yeah, you just, Sarah's right, you got to be strong. You can't be afraid. Yeah. And, and every day you learn something new. Right. And that is yeah. fun to and learn that's something what, new. Yeah. That's what this show is about, strong yes. women. So yes. that's awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. That's Liz and Sarah Motsky, and that's Motsky Diesel and Chrome 69. If it's diesel, you got it. That's right. Yep. All right. And we have more for you, too, right after this break. We'll see you there.